Hello everyone, this is Kate Barnes with Scott LaRue Marketing. Today I am going to go over with you how to edit your hero images on your new KW agent site. So the first thing we're going to do is log into command at agent.kw.com. Once we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and hit that consumer applet on the left hand side. Once we click that, you're going to notice that my website has already been upgraded. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit this edit my website button. And it's going to pull up the new agent website dashboard in a new tab for me. Now, today we're going to be going over how to edit those hero images on the back of your website. So these photos that Carousel threw, um, we can update those and make those our own. You can also edit the text that displays above the search bar. So just keep in mind that can be edited as well. And we'll briefly go over that. So we're gonna go back to the dashboard. Now, in order to update those hero images, we're gonna take a look here at the default pages. Um, in order to edit that, those hero images and that text, that's gonna be on the home page. So we're gonna go ahead and select that button here, and it's gonna open us up a new screen. Uh, once we're in that screen, you're gonna see that there's four sections here. Now, the only one we're gonna take a look at right now is going to be this first one. Um, and it's gonna have the text displayed for what I have as my, my text here above the search bar. Now, again, you can change that and edit that to say whatever you'd like. I can go ahead and change remove dream. It's gonna update over here on the left or on the right hand side, just did. Um, so whatever you'd like for that to say above that search bar, go ahead and edit that. Um, the next thing we're gonna take a look at is uh, it's going to say chosen carousel images. So chosen carousel images are going to be the images that you yourself have decided you would like displayed on your website. Um, down below that, you're going to see default fallback images. So those are going to be the default hero images that are already displaying on your website. Um, so if you were to add photos and decide you don't like them and go ahead and remove them, you will still have these default images to fall back on. So they'll never go away. You can always default back to them if you'd like to at any point. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uploading a couple of our own images. So what I'm gonna do is hit this upload file and choose files. And then I saved a few different like fall type images because I'm going to go for a fall vibe on my website um, since we're coming up on that time of the year. So I'm going to select maybe uh, three or four different images. I'm just choosing the file and then uploading it. I can change the image type, uh, it enter a name, et cetera, any of those things that I want to, or I can just simply go ahead and upload those full, uh, photos. Um, we're going to do this one here. And I'm going to add maybe one more. So let's take a look at, let's do this one here. And actually, I'm going to do five because I want to pull up one more for a specific reason. So we'll go ahead and add this one as well. Um, so I'm just hitting upload. So now you'll notice I have my five photos that I'd like. You'll start to see them display over here in the preview on the right-hand side. Um, there is no specified uh, dimensions for these photos. You're just going to want to make sure that they are the appropriate uh, resolution so that they're nice and clear. Um, you're also going to want to kind of take a look at the preview on the different uh, devices so that you can make sure you like how that image actually displays on the multiple devices. So the desktop versus the phone is going to look a little bit different. So you'll kind of see that as you switch back and forth um, and go through those photos. Um, you also just, like I said, want to make sure that those photos are clean and clear um, and you just like the way that they look. And this is the reason I uploaded this one. As you can see, it's kind of blurry. It doesn't look very good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. To do that, I just wanna hit this little minus sign in the top right corner and hit remove. Now it's gonna mark it out and it's gonna be red. Um, as soon as I save my changes, it's gonna remove that altogether. Um, so once I've got all of my photos, I've got my text the way that I want it, everything looks good, I can go ahead and save my progress. And it will go ahead and update that and I can kind of get another preview here. Um, I can also click this button here to open it in a new tab so that I can see it full size. 
on a actual full-size desktop. Um, and also there is a new kind of feature within the new agent website. It's going to allow you to save images to a website builder content library um, in order for you to simply pull in those photos. So how we do that is if I hit add image and then I want to hit this little search button, I can take a look at those photos that I've already uploaded um, or that I already have in my content library. And that's the reason you can kind of name those. You can search for them, things like that. So if there's another photo that I added and I took off that I want to add back, I can go ahead and select that that way. So it's going to stay within my content library now and allow me to refer back to it. Um, again, any changes you make, you definitely want to make sure you hit that save button in the top right hand corner. Um, it's also going to show you your different revisions, so you kind of have a timeline of your history with that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and it's going to bring us back out into our homepage dashboard. That is our tech tip video for today. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to us at support at uh, Have a great day.